Hi, this is Thomas from Gateway Clinical, your number one source for information about autonomic nervous system testing. If you are a doctor, practice manager, or patient, these videos will contain extremely useful information about this exciting and growing field of practice. While I am not a physician myself, I have had many years of experience in the area of ANS testing. To find out more about ANS testing, you can follow me here or click on the link below to visit gatewayclinical.com. Hi, this is Thomas from Gateway Clinical here in Southern California, and it's a nice sunny day. We're just chilling out on the lawn, and I wanted to talk to you about autonomic neuropathy and what the causes are. The main causes of autonomic neuropathy are as follows. Metabolic factors such as high blood glucose, long duration of diabetes, abnormal blood fat levels, and possibly low levels of insulin. Neurovascular factors leading to damage to the blood vessels that carry oxygen and nutrients to nerves. Autoimmune factors that cause inflammation in nerves. Mechanical injury of nerves such as carpal tunnel syndrome or inherited traits that increase susceptibility to nerve disease. Lifestyle factors such as smoking or alcohol use. Vitamin deficiencies, particularly B vitamins. Vimer's anemia. Infections such as Lyme's disease, shingles, Epstein-Barr, hepatitis C, and HIV AIDS. Kidney, liver, or thyroid disorders. Exposure to toxins. And repetitive physical stress, possibly from occupational activities. There are many symptoms of autonomic neuropathy. These are as follows. Cardiovascular symptoms including resting tachycardia, exercise intolerance, orthostatic hypotension, and silent myocardial ischema. Gastrointestinal symptoms include es esophageal dysmotility. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Gastroparesis diabeticorum, constipation, which I do not say, diarrhea, which I really know how to say because I've been saying this since I was a kid, and fecal incontinence. Pupillary symptoms include pupillomotor function impairment. Genitourinary symptoms include neurogenic bladder, erectile dysfunction, retrograde ejaculation, and female sexual dysfunction. And it's actually very interesting that the sympathetic system controls the male sexual organs and the parasympathetic system controls the female se sexual organs. Which means that if a male is sexually aroused, in order for a male to be sexually aroused, he must get excited. And in order for a female to get sexually aroused, she must be relaxed. And that is why so many people have trouble understanding women. <laughs> but if you understand those two basic things, then you're probably doing good. Other symptoms of autonomic neuropathy are metabolic symptoms, including hypoglycemia, unawareness, and hypoglycemia associated with autonomic failure. Pseudomotor symptoms include anhydrosis, heat intolerance, gustatory sweating, and dry skin. Autonomic dysfunction is widely misunderstood by many physicians and can be a major source of pain for patients. Whenever I get calls from patients, which again, I'm not a doctor, but they do call our number, it always pains me to hear how much pain they are in. And I do enjoy being able to point them in the right direction to help them because it is a very uncomfortable disease. If you have found this information valuable but still have more questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me directly. I can be contacted through our website at www.gatewayclinical.com or emailed at thomas at gatewayclinical.com. I will do my best to quickly answer any questions you may have, but we also offer hourly consulting for practices that need more comprehensive training. Thank you, and I look forward to hearing from you.